It's stored meticulously in the ship's hold. Hundreds of thousands of metres of fibre optic cable, ready for transportation to its final destination, the sea floor. The task of laying all this has been immense. The West Africa Cable System, or WAX, runs 14,000 kilometres from London to South Africa. It's expected to land in at least 12 countries along the way. Namibia, the Democratic Republic of Congo, the Republic of Congo and Togo haven't had direct access to a submarine communications cable before. Only 9.6% of Africans are web users compared to 65% of Europeans. The continent's fibre optic connections have improved hugely in the last few years, but low bandwidth and short-sighted regulation means Africa still lags way behind in the internet revolution. I think it has set Africa back by about 10 years by now because of cheap labour. A lot of the outsourcing that goes to Asia should be in Africa because, in fact, we have cheaper labor than the Asians until the people of Africa, those who live in the rural areas, become empowered to be at least economically viable. The whole continent is just treading water. WAX carries well over four times more information than any other African data pipeline. In the modern wired-up world, getting online makes a real difference to social and economic development. I'm at an internet cafe in London, the city where the wax cable originates from. And here, like in most parts of the Western world, finding cheap, fast internet connection is very, very easy. The hope is that this cable will help make what's normal for Europe normal for Africa too. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, London.